Dad cheating with co-worker. I found out my married dad is having an affair with a younger female co-worker, who is also married. I had my suspicions about the pair, but it was my 12-year-old sister that discovered the incriminating messages on my dad's phone and showed them to me. I have no idea how long this has been going on between the two. They've known one another for two years, and I've personally known the woman for a year. We play recreational sports on weekends and she drops off homemade goods at our house. It's strange and betraying to know that the woman I initially thought was romantically involved with my dad, which I later felt foolish for thinking, is in fact in a secret relationship with him. I know it's typical for teenagers to be very upset angry at their parent s for their infidelity, and I am upset, but I can still see what drove my dad to starting this affair. Learning my dad was unfulfilled in his relationship with my mother is upsetting, and I feel genuinely bad for both people in this affair for being so unhappy before finding one another. All of this being said, I am foremost upset that my younger sister had to find out about this, and that she now has to carry the burden of his secret. I'm also upset with my father for breaking our family's tight quarantine to continue to meet with this woman. He is putting five other people in our household at risk, including his highly at risk mother, and his wife, a ducking doctor. I'm asking for advice on how to proceed. I intend on confronting my dad about this, because I'm not going to keep his secret. How have others gone about confrontations? I think it would be a good idea for my siblings and I to seek therapy counseling after this as I believe this infidelity may hurt my younger sister and brother as well as me. How should I suggest this to my dad? As the oldest sibling, I feel responsible for getting my sister uninvolved ASAP. I'm trying to pull together everything, so I can tell her what the plan is, how I'm going to solve this, and how she will no longer be keeping this secret. What do I tell her to help her? Any other advice for me? Update, dad cheating with co-worker. First of all, I appreciate everyone who commented on that first post. I appreciate the guidance and support. It's been a while since my original post, I talked to my dad about his infidelity in August 2020, and he explained the situation. Hess been sleeping with his co-worker since spring 2020. His co-worker is not married, I was incorrect in my original post. I 16f told him to talk to my mom, who he's married to about it and then discuss it with our entire family my mother and younger siblings 12 mf. I was planning on following up with my dad to make sure had actually told my mom, but I got busy with school and I didn't want to rehash it. I assumed had told her. Well, he never did. He told her yesterday, right before he had a family meeting with all of us to break the news even though my sister and I knew he was cheating over six months ago. Well, new plot twist he got his co-worker pregnant. They're having a child together. The kid is due in May. So this has been known and kept secret for quite some time. He wants to divorce my mom and marry his co-worker. This infidelity has revealed unhealthy patterns of behavior that my dad has been using on my mother for quite some time. He has been neglecting and manipulating my mother for years to take her power away from her. Hess tried to convince my siblings and I that we're happier without our mother. Hess been telling our relatives that my mother terrorizes and abuses us she doesn't so he can have custody of us. My mom is rightfully upset, but she's expressed relief that something is finally changing in her marriage. Mom tells my siblings and I that she wants us to make the decisions that are best for us, in terms of where we live and how we navigate this new family dynamic. My mom is very level-headed and wants my siblings and I to choose our living situations for ourselves. She's trying to figure out how to explain her unhealthy marriage and my dad's manipulation to my siblings. Dad speaks strangely about his affair, calling it a net positive for the family and refusing to take responsibility for impregnating his co-worker. He is continuously love-bombing me and guilting me into telling him I love him, and telling me that the love and acceptance I give will be returned does anyone else find that to be an incredibly manipulative statement? He expects me to forgive him and be okay with his actions even though he has expressed no remorse or accountability. He is spinning false narratives to my siblings as well, telling us all vastly different stories about how things transpired. I'm disturbed and upset by his pathological lies and constant manipulation. Dad's moving out over spring break in a few weeks to live with his new family. My parents have started the process of divorce and I'm sure there will be conflict over custody and finances. 
I am excited to move on with my family and my life and start therapy. I worry that my dad will continue to hurt and lie to my siblings, who are young and more forgiving of his actions. That's the short version, honestly. Any advice, sympathy, or commiseration would be appreciated. How do I help my siblings through this? Do you have any advice for coping with this crazy news? TL, DR my dad has been having S time with his co-worker for almost a year, and she is pregnant with his child. He has been lying to my entire family about what happened and is trying to manipulate my siblings and I into blaming our mother and forgiving him, so we will live with him and his new family. Story 2. The time I caught my dad cheating on my mom. It was a Saturday morning. I was excited because later that afternoon I was going over to a friend's house. My bedroom was in the basement of our house, and this morning I was alone down there. My mom had gone out to the grocery or something and my dad was upstairs in his office. I had just gotten up and was puttering around my room. The phone rang I had one in my room and stopped after one ring. To this day I'm not sure why, but I felt extremely curious about it and picked up the receiver in my room. For those of you too young to remember, on landline phones if someone was on the phone, anyone else could pick up a phone in the same house and overhear their conversation. I listened and heard my dad talking to a woman who was definitely not my mother. It took me a minute to understand what they were talking about. The woman was asking when she was going to be able to see my dad. She asked about the afternoon and my dad said, I can't, I have Quilavnumenor today and I have to take him somewhere referring to my visit to my friend's house later in the day. The venom and resentment with which he said those words has never left me. It was one of the few times I ever heard my dad's true, unfiltered feelings about me, and they were nothing but loathing. They talked a bit more and at one point the woman said, but will you want to make love? And my dad hurriedly assured her he would. That was when I knew this was not just some friend or family member I didn't know about. I hung up the phone carefully, so as not to make an audible click on the line and sat down on my bed. I knew, even at 13, what I had just heard was a bombshell. I had had S time ed in school and my parents have given me the awkward, uncomfortable talk the year before, so I knew that S time existed and that people did it. But my parents never mentioned it, never referred to it, never showed each other any kind of affection or S time duality when I was around. So suddenly hearing my dad talking about making love to a strange woman was a major alarm in my pre-teen brain. I knew I had a choice to make. I had this burden on me now, a burden of secret knowledge. I felt angry and scared and very protective of my mother. I was always closer to her than my dad, and at that young age I didn't know enough about the abuse patterns in our family to know what I was getting into. I genuinely believed it was up to me to bring this news to her in order to save her from my dad's dishonesty. So I resolved to tell her, that very day. I had the presence of mind to call up my friend, the one I was supposed to see that day, and cancel, making up some excuse. I then went up to my dad and said, Hey, friend just told me he can't get together today so you don't need to drive me over there. I'm sure he was very relieved, though of course he remained impassive as ever. My mom got home a while later. Before she got settled in, I went to her and begged her to take me to the mall, claiming I wanted to get some trading cards. I knew she was tired from the grocery, but I played every whiny kid card I had, and she agreed. We went out, just the two of us, and I started working up to dropping the bomb I was carrying. It took me the entire drive. Finally, I opened up to what I had heard, and finished by saying, I think he is cheating on you, mom. I'm really sorry. She just kind of sat there for a bit and then thanked me for letting her know and told me she'd take care of it when they got home. We drove home and my mom went upstairs and came back a little while later. Dad and I are going to take a drive, she said. She gave me money to order a pizza. They were gone for the rest of the day. I don't remember how long it actually was but I know it was dark when they got back. When they got home, they went upstairs. I followed them and caught my mom in the kitchen and asked her what happened. She said everything was okay, and not to worry about it, that I didn't need to be involved anymore. And that was it. This incident was never mentioned again for years and years. It was only when I was an adult and I mentioned it to my mom again that she told me that my dad had promised to apologize to me for putting me through that. I told her he never had, 
in over a decade. She seemed surprised but let it drop. Never again was it mentioned or discussed. It took me a long time to realize how angry and upset I was about this. Why did I, at 13, have to have the burden put on me of stepping into their marriage problems? Why was dad so careless with his affair that a 13-year-old kid could catch him? Why did my mom react so numbly to it? Why has no one apologized for me having to go through it after 20 years? Why has no one ever explained how and why it happened, and what it meant for our family? Why was it a secret I alone had to bear for so long? So in the letter of confrontation I sent my dad in 2015 in which I opted out of the enmeshment of our family, one of the things I brought up as a grievance was this issue. I confronted him, bringing up the infidelity front and center and telling him how angry I was that he did that and that I caught him. Worse, I have some evidence that his infidelity has continued on to this day and I threw that in as well. His response to my letter was to cut contact, his only real comment being, I don't know why you'd want to have a relationship with someone you see as such a monster. No acknowledgement of the infidelity or my part in discovering it, no apology, no nothing. My dad prides himself on being this straight shooter, upright, boy scout of a man indeed, he is an eagle scout of unimpeachable moral standing, and he uses this classiness as he calls it as a bludgeon to control me and others. And yet here he is, cheating on his wife and is too much of a pussy to even own up to his own son who caught him red-handed. It's occurred to me later in life that he may have other children with his mistress s that no one knows about. When you open the door to one secret, Therese no telling how many others you'll find. Nothing he says or does can be taken at face value. Nothing I knew as a kid is true. I should never have been burdened with this. I was too young. And yet I was efforts to be the only adult in my family. I hate him. For his hypocrisy and dishonesty and cowardice. And I hate my mother for her passivity, her enabling, her codependence. And after all this, they have made themselves the victims of my hatred and ingratitude for having the temerity to speak my mind and upset the family system. All they have is denial, because acknowledging reality is just too scary. I would feel sorry for them if they hadn't hurt me so much but they're unworthy of my pity.